Hi, this is Gary D. Tonnenkrupp from morethanasnapshot.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at some basic skin retouching that you can do in Lightroom. I really would want to take your time and do things properly, probably, in a program like Photoshop. But you can get some pretty good, quick and dirty uh, sort of uh, retouching done in Lightroom. So here I have a basic portrait with um, a model that has some uh, issues with the skin. So we'll zoom in and one of the first things we'll do is obvious, we'll use the uh, spot removal tool and get rid of some of the obvious spots. And so I would just click around uh, and take my time to try to get rid of the most obvious spots that are going to cause problems in my photo. Basically you just need to have your circle a little bit larger than the spot you're trying to remove and you click and it will find uh, some pixels to replace it with. If you don't like the shading of the pixels that it's picking you can always click on this circle and move it till you find a spot that works better. Um, usually you want to try to leave the natural spots and try to get rid of uh, you know blemishes and things like that. So I would move around by holding down the space bar and that converts my uh, spot removal tool to the hand tool so that I can click around uh, and find these spots to be removed and um, I'm gonna stop this right now this is, you don't have to watch me get rid of all these spots and then I'll come right back once I have this done alright so I've taken care of most of the major spots and um, now we're ready to move on. Um, the next thing you could do to smooth out the skin is to use the brush tool and use clarity. So first I'm going to uh, double click on the word effect. I want to make sure that all my brushes are set to zero so that I know I'm starting with a brush that's just going to do one thing. In this case I'm going to adjust the clarity. Now I'm going to go to the negative side because I want to try to soften the skin features and you could take this up pretty high but you really don't want to go over let's say 70 so I'm going to probably try almost uh, yeah, around 57 or so. Um, if you push it too far it starts looking overly smooth, it looks a little more orange um, so we're going to stick with something a little bit lower and then I'm just going to carefully try to paint just on the skin surfaces that uh, need to be smoothed and with a soft edge brush and you would really want to zoom in for some of these parts but I'm doing that quick And it probably would do all this part too. Alright, so I'll put that brush away and check it out. Alright, now you can see the before and after. It's much improved already. So, um,. One of the things you'll notice though, it comes out a little more orange in color. So I'm going to come down to um, the saturation and find orange. And I'm going to take away just a little bit of orange saturation and maybe a little bit of luminance to darken it just a little bit. All right, and we'll see. That's looking closer to the skin tone that I was looking for. I might mess around with it a little more to get it closer, but that's pretty good. Um, the next thing we want to do is uh, use the brush tool again. We're going to work in the, around the eyes here. I'm going to pick the brush tool, I'm going to double click on the effect so that I can clear out all my settings again. And if you happen to have a little bit darker areas under the eye, you might want to put just a very small amount of uh, exposure. So 
I'm going to put it up 0.08. That's a very small amount. And uh, I might use a little extra reduction in clarity here. And take a smaller brush and just paint under the eyes to soften those wrinkles around the bottom of the eye. Maybe a little up there. Okay, same thing on this side. Brighten that edge up a little bit and soften those parts. All right. The next thing we might do a little work to the eyes themselves. And you'll hear people say that you can whiten the eyes, and, and you can, but you have to be very careful not to put too much. It, it looks really fake if you whiten the eyes too much. So in this case, I want a, just a small amount of brightening to the eyes. I'm going to get rid of the clarity. Double click on the word clarity to make that zero. I want to leave this at just 0.08. I'm going to make just a very subtle brightening of the white of the eyes here. All right. And then we can possibly brighten a little bit on the inside uh, part of the eye. So I'm going to get a new brush. And for this one, I'm going to make it double that. Um, well, we'll try 23. Make my brush a bit smaller. And just come in here just to lighten up that part of the eye a bit. And I'll go around that edge. You don't want to go over the uh, black line on the outside of the eye. That's very important to keep that, no matter what color the eyes are. If you want to see what you did, you can see you can really brighten it up. Obviously, you don't want to do that. Or you could really darken it down. Uh, but we want to find a spot where it looks natural, but it's a little bit brighter. Alright, so we enhance the eyes a little bit. Now we're just going to kind of double check and make sure we haven't missed anything. Uh, that the skin looks reasonably good, that you still have some texture in it. If you missed any little spots, you could take out your spot removal tool again. And see if there's anything that needs to be cleaned up. And then uh, we might try enhancing a little uh, bit with uh, dodging and burning. Um, so I'll use the brush and I'm going to put it at a very small amount again, probably around 16. And I'll probably come even down to the flow and knock the flow down to around 50%. And I'm going to double click the effect to make sure that that's all on zero. Oh, I forgot that I had put that in. So right now I'm going to make it brighter by a very small amount. And so I'm going to uh, brush over just the highlights on her skin. I'm going to find any highlight and use a soft brush and go over the highlights just to enhance those a little bit. hitting all the bright edges. Make my brush a little bit smaller here. Alright, also down uh, the neck over here. And over here. A little bit of highlight here. A little bit of highlight there. All right, and now I'm going to repeat the same steps with a new brush, but I'm going to do it uh, just a little bit darker. And I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to paint in the shadows. Make the shadows stand out a bit more.
So I'm just following the lines of the lighting that uh, was created by the studio lights. Just darkening and lightening in different areas. With a very small amount of flow and a small exposure adjustment. These are subtle changes, but we are adding some dodging and burning. Okay. And now uh, we'll turn that off and see how it looks. Well, that's the before and after. If we zoom in, we can see that there is a difference in the skin, a difference in the uh, eyes, and a difference overall uh, when we compare the highlights and the shadows in the image. So I hope that helps. That's a quick and dirty way to do a little skin retouching in Lightroom without even having to go over to Photoshop. Give it a try and see what you think. If you like this video, please be sure to hit subscribe down at the bottom so you can see our future videos. Also, you might want to check out the show notes to see uh, my other websites like morethanasnapshot.com where you can take my online photography class. Also, like us on Facebook so you'll know what's new with morethanasnapshot.com.